Welcome back. Coach here. Want to talk about dominating your farm area. Recently, I did a presentation at the Inglewood Board of Realtors, and we talked about how to dominate a farm area. So today, I want to share the information with all of you. So I got up here a graph of, of five years. Now, let me ask you a question. If I told you for the next two years, I need you to work your asset off, and after those two years, it would give you a consistent and repeatable high six-figure income. Would you do the work? See, my theory is if you don't do the work here, you're going to end up doing the work for somebody somewhere. So I'm asking you, give me two years. Give me two and a half years to show you how to dominate a farm area. And for the next 10, 15, 20 years, this farm area will give you income. It will give you a pipeline of business that just won't stop as long as you do the right thing. So let's take a look at my graph. On my graph, I got time. We know it's going to take a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of effort. Bottom line here, I got money, a lot of money to break into a farm. This is a system that is going to take time. Time. This is not right now business. This is not for sale by owners or expires or, or notice of trustee sales or your spirit of influence. This is farm. When we think about farming, we think about farmers who, who put seed in the ground and they water the ground and six, nine months, 12 months later, they get their crops. They get whatever they planted. This is what we're talking about here. Planting your seeds every day. See, I talk about work here. Work's on the other side. Either you got to do the work or your money's got to do the work. But work's got to be done. And when I talk about work, I talk about circle prospecting, calls, door knocks, mailers, open house, networking, events. We talk about dropping flyers. We talk about social media posts. We talk about phone blasts, text blasts. In other words, you have to become part of the community. You have to be in that community every day. That's the work part. But, but, but check it out. You have to do all this work. And this is what you need to understand. This is so critically important to your business. You're going to do a lot of work and not make a lot of money. You're going to put in all of this work. You're going to put in all of this work. All this work. Work, 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 work. All this work, all this work, all this work, all this work. And make a little bit of money. So you can't get frustrated. Because I said I need two years. I need two and a half years. And I'm going to give you an income that's going to feed your family for the next 20 years. But you got to put in all the work to let, make a little bit of money. You might make two deals, three deals, four deals, five deals. And then we go to the second year. In the second year, you got to do the same work. Same work. Work, 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 work. But you know what? You start to earn a little bit more money. You maybe double your income. Maybe you do six, seven, eight deals. But let me just make you aware of this. At this point right here is when most people quit. Most people quit somewhere in the two or three, four month range. I need you to be totally committed for two years. I need you to say, you know, I'm gonna stay in here for two years or don't start. Don't start. Don't, don't start for three or four months and then quit because you waste a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of energy, a lot of effort. Don't do that. I mean, if you want to do this, commit. Commit to pounding the payments. Commit to doing all the things you need to do for two years. Guarantee you do this for two years, you will dominate your farm. You'll get your one, two, three, four, five listings every month. You'll be closing two, three, four deals every month. But you know what? When I say consistent, when I say every day, that's five days a week. I'm pounding the streets. I'm pounding it. I'm getting it in. People will see you. People will fall in love with you. You will have top of mind awareness if you do the things you're supposed to do on a daily basis. Three to four hours every day, making the calls, knocking on the doors, doing the things you know you're supposed to do. And then by the third year, check out, check it out, check it out. You're still working, you're still working, you're still working, you're still working. But you know what? You're making more money now. You're making more money now. And you know what? At, at this point, you're probably number one in your farm. If not, you're close. If not, everybody knows who you are now. 
right? Everybody knows. And so as, as we keep moving forward, now we're in the fourth year. Ah, check this out. You're still working, but you know what happens in the third and fourth year? Your money, your money starts doing the heavy lifting. You can still knock doors and you can still do all those things, but you know what? Mellers start to work. You start to hire other people to do the heavy lifting. But you know what's fun about that? You make more money. You make more money. You make more money. Until you get to the fifth year. And in the fifth year, wow, check this out. Your business is on autopilot. Your systems are working. Everything's being implemented. Your staff is working. Your money's working harder than everybody. And you know what? You're cleaning up. 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 Two hundred fifty thousand. Five hundred thousand. You're doing, you know, three to five deals. Can you imagine? Can you imagine closing fifty deals in your farm area because you put in the work from day one? I can imagine that for you. I can visualize that for you. But this is what I need you to do. I need you to put in the work. The money is going to be there. The question is, are you going to put in the work? Are you going to show up every day? You know my saying, suit up, show up, step up, go to work, and take massive action. Massive action. So here's a shout out to my guy, Ricky Carruth in Alabama. Number one Remax agent down there. Shout out to you, big guy, Saudi Ward. He talks about future market share. I'm going to throw this up there real quick. Future market share. You have a farm area of 2,000, 2,000 homes. Currently, you get no business. If you do the work, let's just say 10% of this market in two years know you, like you, respect you, see your work ethic, and they're going to do business with you. Can you see that's 200 transactions possible in the next five to seven years? Can we say cha-ching? Can we say money? Can we say number one, future? But you got to put in the work, man. You got to put in the work. I put down here, you got to be consistent, you got to be committed, and you got to be di disciplined. I put down here, you got to be patient with the process. You got to be patient. It's going to take some time. Don't get frustrated. Just pound it. Keep pounding it. And you'll see the re result. I put down here two to three years gives you 15 to 20 years of serious income. I put down here you got to have your methods and your systems working together. And finally, I, I'm going to say it again. You can't get frustrated. It might be tedious. It might take some time. But look at the big picture. If I, if I plant the seeds now, if I put the harvest out there right now, I'm going to reap the benefits. I'm going to get all these listings, buyers. I'm going to have open houses. People are going to see me working and going to respect the fact that I'm working my farm every day. I'm showing up, making the calls, and knocking on the doors, and passing out the mailers, and, and mailing stuff. They're going to see me very active because I want to dominate my farm. Well, that's it for the day. I hope, I hope you got something out of it. Hey, if you did, do me a favor. Share the video. Like the video. Leave me comments. Really appreciate you guys. Take care. Good luck with dominating the farm. This has been Coach. Peace out.